Howdy there. A couple nights ago, I saw Being Elmo, a puppeteer's journey. And I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a fine documentary. I think I pretty much have to give it an 8. Uh, you know, I felt very inspired when I walked out of the theater. That's a rare feeling from a film. So, I think 8 is fair. Uh, I really, really, really enjoy the archival footage. Being Elmo is about uh, the creator of modern day Elmo, uh, Kevin Clash. If you're not familiar, Elmo is a Muppet on Sesame Street. Um, and he started on Sesame Street in a different uh, incarnation, uh, was passed off to a uh, young puppeteer, a newbie puppeteer on the show, and he just pretty much right there and then created Elmo uh, as we know him today. Uh, and now that newbie is now a big dog, if not the top dog, on Sesame Street. Uh, so, it, uh, it's basically his journey. Um, it's his life story. It's told in an interesting way. I mean, I guess he was always kind of angling for stardom, so therefore uh, had at least very involved parents, um, family, uh, or just he was very involved. Um, perhaps his ego was, was very big. Uh, but it's like shot in like reenactments in a way. Like there were cameras following him uh, back when he was, you know, nobody. Uh, and like they recreate, I mean, at that time, uh, like if it's a story from the 70s, they show a film from the 70s, but it's like recreating the situation. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Uh, as an example, he talks about, he tells a story now in modern day as a, you know, talking head to a camera um, about meeting one of his heroes. So then we go to a... Uh, a cut film of him meeting that hero and it's like him and the hero like recreating actually even meeting so it's kind of weird you know uh, the reason I let me get to it right away the reason I'm not giving it a higher rating uh, is because Okay, one, I can't blame him, you know, not at all, but, and it is a biographical documentary, but it's very, like, focused on Kevin Clash. Um, you can tell a little bit that he's, you know, proud of himself, which, of course, he deserves to be. Um, you can tell he's proud of himself, he doesn't really hide that fact, and the film kind of focuses on that so it's at times a little bit self uh grandizing is that the word um self aggrandizing anyway um so there's just this ego that kind of seeps through that i could have done without also it's told out of order um and i had a tough time keeping track of where we are in history. You know, it only said the date a couple of times. And it really just kind of hops back and forth. Um, as an example, like the Tickle Me Elmo craze uh, phenomenon that swept the country in uh, the film takes place before the death of Jim Henson, which obviously that was not the case. Uh, you know, I just, it, it fits in with the story that, um, 
they were going for. I mean, it felt fine. It's just that uh, I just kind of wish it was in order. You know, I wanted, you know, an ABC, not a ACB. You know, it, it uh, was just a little pet peeve of mine. Though, again, it works for the story that they were telling. Um, just personal preference. I would have preferred that it would have been chronological. Uh, and again, that, that, like, the reacting stuff, the reenactment stuff was, like, weird. Um, but, if you were a Jim Henson fan, you know, I grew up watching The Muppet Show. Um... I was born the same year that it came out on television, uh, so I probably just have these infantile memories that are, you know, a part of my subconscious and I don't even realize it, of the Muppets. Uh, but I can remember as a little kid the day that Jim Henson died, I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm a big fan of Jim Henson, and you are given uh, a lot of access to Jim Henson in the Henson world. Uh, the way that he worked, the genius that was Jim Henson, along with Frank Oz, uh, another, you know, arguable genius. Um, and you've got these two titans of, of children's entertainment um, together. Uh, and I didn't even realize how closely they worked together. So again, I'm, I'm learning about a childhood hero, so I really enjoyed that aspect of it. You do get just very rare glimpses uh, into that, and some of the archive footage is just amazing. Um, so that uh, that's really cool. I mean, that's really, really cool. Um, you know, and it's very emotional, you know. Again, we do get to know a lot about Kevin. Uh, and really... It's just a film about realizing your dream, you know, realizing your dream and obsession. Uh, I believe I know a lot about those two things, um, and therefore I felt connected with the film. Um, so that was important to me. Uh, and it's just an hour and 20 minutes long. And I'll say that, you know, it started to feel a little long, and it's just an hour and 20 minutes, so I think they could have, you know, made it zippier. You know, I'm not sure exactly how, uh, but it was just a feeling that I had. It was just like, it kind of drug on a little bit, and it's a short movie. Um... I uh, I got very emotional uh, during one scene. Uh, again, at times, the film is very powerful. Documentaries should be, at times, incredibly powerful. A documentary, if it's successful, should move you, I mean, deeply, um, about the subject at hand. Um, and I did. I, I, I got uh, very emotional. Uh, you know, I can't say that I wept or anything, but I did choke up. Uh, I did get tears in my eyes. Uh, but the scene, and if you don't get choked up, it's like I have to wonder about you. Um, it's a Make-A-Wish, you know, a, a, a Make-A-Wish Foundation, a child, uh, couldn't have been more than two years old, uh, is dying. Is, is dying of a uh, incurable disease. And this little girl's, two-year-old girl's, only wish in the world, dying wish, could have anything. Her wish is to meet Elmo. And we get to watch that happen. And if you aren't deeply moved by watching that. I mean, I almost felt like I was invading a little bit. Uh, but if you aren't deeply moved by getting to experience that, then <laughs> there is something wrong with your heart. You know, there's just something wrong. 
Uh, so, you know, any film that gives me that opportunity to see something that is just pure love and joy, you know, it, it can't, you know, be beat. Uh, so it had that. I really, really liked that. Uh, was really moved by that. Um, I mean, the film is moving. Uh, it's obvious how much he cares about kids, entertaining kids. Um, you know, it's just pretty obvious that he cares. Uh, I can't tell you who wrote and directed this, uh, or assembled it, whatever, produced it. Um, I think it was a pair, uh, a man and a woman team, but I'm not certain on that at all. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I got to see it. I wouldn't call it one of the best documentaries of the year. Right now, I would have to say that belongs to Senna, though I thought that uh, being Elmo and Senna had a lot in common in terms of, uh, obviously, the focus on a central character and a, a central character driven by things that they don't necessarily understand. Um, you know, it was it was it was a a good watch, a good uplifting, inspirational, heartwarming watch. Uh, nothing too, you know, groundbreaking. Uh, but again, you do get to see some amazing archival footage if you're a fan of Jim Henson. Uh, well, then you're probably already wanting to see it, if not already have seen it. But uh, you do get an insight into the Henson Company. Uh, and also, like a little bit for me, was, uh, was you get to see just a little bit of Dark Crystal. Um, he, Kevin Clash turns down the opportunity to work on Dark Crystal. But he goes to visit the set one day. And again, he's got like cameras with him for some reason even though he's a young man uh, and we get to see just a little behind the scenes of Dark Crystal as being one of my favorite movies I, that's pretty sweet um, I don't know what else to say about it It's it was a fine documentary a fine documentary um, and a good a fine portrait of uh, a fine artist um, I don't really know what else to say, uh, but if you're a Muppet fan, get to it. Uh, I'll give it a solid 8. You know, I've got no problems giving it an 8. Um, so that's Being Elmo, A Puppeteer's Journey. Thank you.